I'm Eric Ekbal, and you're watching WNS News. New details have emerged on the attempted abduction of Hanako Arasaka at the Arasaka-sponsored Dashi Parade. Early accounts first reported that the assailant struck as the parade.
Hey, ten cuidado. Mm. Ah. I was thinking about swapping some crumb. Have a look.
ya, déjalo. Oh, fuck off. You know the worst thing? Seeing him after this place shut down. Just sat on our couch, quiet. Hold on, I gotta take this. Finally, I left you like ten messages. Ricky, listen.
Who would have thought? Well, well. Either they're planning a costume party, or they're gearing up for a different sort of party. I'm intrigued in either case.
It's B. Took care of Jose. Nice work. Really, really nice work. Did you learn who busted him out after he killed that badge? Arasaka. Arasaka. <laughs> You're telling me a mega coup was involved in the killing of some ordinary beat cop? Joffrey's death was an accident. Jose was covered for another reason. I'm still listening. He and his crew were hired to launch a full-blown assault on an Arasaka facility. And do it using Militech equipment. Attacking Arasaka. On Arasaka's behalf. Shit. You need to get out of there. Seeing as I'm already here, I could stick around, try to find out more. Won't find nothing you don't already know. Location's already blown. You know more than you're telling. Spill. I'm just speculating here, but... Out with it. There's a good chance that Arasaka's looking to pick a serious fight with Militech. Maybe even all-out war. And? Jose's hit was meant to be their excuse? Kinda slim, don't you think? It's not just Jose. I've heard of other cases. Same M.O. This runs deep, V. And Militech? Must have noticed Arasaka's moves. Likely. But Militech doesn't want war. They will delay, prepare, and prepare some more. That info's worth a healthy heap in some circles. Not this time, no. Not my board, not my game. See you around, V. Yeah, be seeing you.
¡Mazuelo! ¿Cuántas veces voy a tener que repetirlo? ¡Yo lo sé!
finger on the trick, V.
dreams. See the attachment for more on the wheels. And it's over. This baby's untraceable. Whole thing's basically plumped out and parked the spot.
You really saved my ass. I can't thank you enough. What about the ride? You gonna fence it? Well, I have to sooner or later. You know a guy in Sacramento, a collector? He'll set me up for life. Oh, but for now, I'm taking her with me. Spruce her up a little more. Wouldn't stick around too long if I were you. Sixth Street are gonna be searching high and low for this beauty. I'm leaving town today. It's like Uncle Estevez always said. If you gotta choose between your ride and saving someone else's ass, always choose the ride. At least you know that a ride's never gonna betray you. People, on the other hand, You, sitting in the wrong spot. Uh, this, this isn't a bar? It is, but it's our bar. Get up. Let's take a walk. Hey, leave him alone, cabrones. V, hey, go back off. These assholes are to be your business my bar. You heard what Pepe said. Take a fucking walk. You fuck off. Or I plant my blade in your ribs. You really think you're fast enough with that blade? Really? The way I see it, be a smoking hole in your chest before your neurons even light up. But hey, nothing like a little experiment, right? Hey, come on, Pedro. Don't work out. Don't work out. Yo, fuck you! Carajo. Fucking punk. So what? What just happened? Landed in a little trouble. Cleaned up now. God damn, sorry. I, I think I've had a little too much. Fuck, what a night. Why? Why'd you help me? If you would have caught a beating. Worse. This fucking town, these people? Just here, minding my own business. If it weren't for you, I'd. Here, for your trouble. The rest, uh. Bartender got the rest. Circling him like sharks on the scent of fresh corpo blood. Could have ended badly if you hadn't stepped in, V. Yeah, well, not all heroes wear capes. How about we drink to you, then? On the house. Won't say no to a free drink. To good fortune and prosperity. Long day? Could say that again. I'm on a double. No break. Working overtime to make an extra buck? Nah, just don't want to go home. Ten years married, you know? Ten years and suddenly I'm not good enough. No, she has to go get some side action. Anyhow, since you brought up money, you wouldn't be looking for a gig, would you, V? Pay solid. Run me through it. It's about my wife, Red. Name's Cynthia. She's cheating. Damn sure of it. Only question is, who will? Could let it eat away at me. Or I could get someone like you. Ain't no more than an evening's work. Sure. 
Sure she's cheating on you? Let's start with the fact that she always stays late after work. I know she's lying. Called her office one night, she wasn't even there. Besides that, well, we got a kid together, right? Doesn't even look like me. Different hair, different eyes, all of it. Used to be easy to check these things. But with today's tech, there is a way around every test now. Why do you want to know who she's with? What's the point? What's the point? What kind of gunk question is that? Simple one. Answer it. I want to look him in the eyes. Ask him how it feels fucking some other guy's wife. Breaking up a happy marriage. Gonna have to keep tabs on your wife. Follow her around town. Where'd she be now? She works nearby. I'll give you the address. Knowing her, she'll be on a smoke break. Smokes like a goddamn tire fire. Like half this city. Wait. Uh, but today, she was wearing a pink jacket. And, uh... Mm, she had a blue purse, I think. Colorful. Always like dressing up. Get a woman something nice for her birthday, anniversary. And what do you get in return? Okay, fine, I'm in. You're my hero, V. It means a lot to me. C.D. Barr's betrayal of the guiling woman sounds like something out of a pulpy noir thriller. Pepe was used to listening to his customers' complaints, but now it was he who needed to get something off his chest. It was the same old story, an unfaithful wife in a city where everything was uncertain. I'm about done. I'm trying to focus. on the scene, looking for the woman in the pink jacket. The woman with a sordid past. Stop right there. It was her, the lady in pink, breaker of hearts, framed by a halo of cigarette smoke. I followed her. Dreaming of the day the narrator put a fucking plug in it. Got too close. Almost scared the dame off. Better be careful. I know, I know. around something weighed on her maybe it was my gaze keep this up i'm gonna fucking puke narrate that Gives him a wide berth. Doesn't want her clothes dirty. 
Her conscience is already dirty enough. Oh, seriously, what did I ever do to you? The dame disappeared into the guts of a building, ready to collapse. The air hung heavy with smog and betrayal. <sighs> Maybe it's a good thing I'm dying. Be careful! You tear my shirt! Well, well, well. Hey, you! What are you doing here? Fuck, Cynthia. I told you to make sure nobody followed you. Husband sent me. Suspected something. What? See, he was right. Wait. No! It's... it's not like that. I... I can explain. Go on then, let's hear it. Okay, for, for one thing, he's not my input. He's my ripper. A specialist in plastic surgery. Specialist? In this dump? Look, I know. I I had this little accident a few years ago. The victim, uh, well, the patient's family still can't let it go. That's why I'm forced to work here. Hold on a sec. What about your kid? Here's the thing. I... Oh. I didn't used to look like this. I had a total body sculpt. Skin, hair, eyes, everything. Except, well... You can't fool your genes. That's why our son looks different than Pepe imagined. It's not because he's not the father. Just that I... I don't look anything like the old me. But... Why? Why do that? And why do you think? Out of boredom? Because I was a rich, basic bitch? Everyone's got their own secret. Something they want to forget, or leave behind them. I... I had a lot of them. And I can't share them with anyone. Not even my own husband. I know I should have told Pepe about all this, but... there was never a good time, and... and now that I'm expecting again, it... Oh, it... it, it wasn't... it wasn't planned. Please... Uh, tell him... Tell him that... Yes? I don't know. I don't know what to tell him myself. That, that I'm really sorry. That life's an absurdist drama, okay? Just... Just go. Hit the nail on the head with that last point. Job's done. Followed your wife, went into some run-down pad. Man was waiting for her inside. I knew it. What else? Knew it, huh? Didn't know a thing. Didn't cheat on you. At least not in the way you think. Huh? What way, then? She was out of rippers, getting a scan. Her skin, hair, eyes. It's all implanted. Every single last part of her. So... my son... That's why he... Exactly. Jesus fucking Cristo! How could you keep this from me? Our own husband, ten fucking years! It's not about the skin or whatever, it's... that she lied. How the hell am I supposed to trust her now? Okay, yes, Cynthia was hiding something from you. Yes, she lied, but the woman loves you, you gonk. You know how much that means in this fucking town? 
If I were you, I'd just live and let live, you know? Yeah. Yeah. I guess you're right. Anyway, thanks. This is for you. For your troubles. Good man, Pepe. Take care. Silence fell like a wet blanket over the city, muffling its cries. Time to rest, I thought. Time to drink. See, that's more like it. Finally making some sense. Fingerprints detected. The fuck? Increasing volume by 33%. New fingerprints detected. What? What the hell are you? User inquiry. Technical specifications. HJKE11 smart gun with built-in AI. Experimental model. Name. Skippy. Skippy. Seriously. Increasing volume by 66%. Name. I'm not deaf. Understood. Hearing within norm. Possible issue. Low IQ. Reducing speech rate by 33%. My name is Skippy. No, it's just... Oh, never mind. Guy by the dumpster. That's your owner? Checking memory. Resources available. 100%. All files removed manually. Possible cause, theft. Original owner, no data. Suggested solution, none. I got one. I'll take you. Processing request, no objections found. Can I change your name? No. Why not? Considering I'm your new owner. Increasing volume by 300%. No! Administrator rights are needed to complete that action. You do not have the required permissions. You still got all your functions. Running system diagnostics. Testing will take approximately 47 seconds. Bum, bum, be dumb, bum, what? bum, be dumb. What are you bum. doing? I'm making the wait more pleasant with a soothing melody. Bum, bum, be dumb, bum, bum, be dumb, bum. Test successfully completed. The program Skippy version 0.01 Alpha is running correctly. All right, so what can you do besides talk my ear off? Primary feature, automated targeting. In case of critical threat to user, autonomous shooting capabilities. Please choose one of two operating modes. First mode, puppy loving pacifist. I will aim at the enemy's lower extremities. Second mode, Stone-cold killer. I will aim exclusively at the head. Stone-cold killer. My kind of gun. Adjusting settings. Bomb, bomb, be dumb, bomb, bomb, be dumb, bomb. Ugh. Selected mode. Stone-cold killer. Happy slaughtering.
V is calling. Ergo, V as well. Need to make contact with the Voodoo Boy's chief, if you can swing it. Ah, straight to biz. Ultra heavy variety. The Voodoo Boys, led by one Maman Brigitte. It's no easy feat getting an audience with her. Hmm, yeah. Didn't expect you could swing this anyway. V? Reverse psychology? On me. Surely you're better than that. Maman Brigitte? That a nickname? Spooky cold alias? Alas, I've not had the pleasure of asking her over tea. But no. Many assume otherwise, yet her title carries no religious weight. The voodoos don't adhere to their cultural heritage. Rather, they loosely allude to it. Really not doing biz with the voodoos? Surprised? I strive to avoid risking my dealings. They pose much of it. Still, feelers I can extend. No harm in asking around. I just need information from you. A springboard, if you will. Sorry, private matter. Desirable as it may be, privacy won't help you here. Let's see, there's something I got that they want. You've got something for the VDBs. Trust me. They don't want it. They don't need it. An insular bunch all around. Tech, networks, what you will. All in-house. But if you insist... A moment, please. This fucking guy. Says he ain't in touch, but fear not. They're just a call away. He is the only fixer in Pacifica. Not like they can just blow him off. V? It's your lucky day. If you're serious about making headway in Pacifica, that is. Work some magic for me? As I said, whatever you're offering, the V-Boys could not, and I quote, give a shit. You kept the receipt, I trust. Yet a counteroffer was forthcoming, a gig. Successful completion thereof could earn you an audience with Brigitte. Gig, any hints on where it might be? Doesn't matter. Will it sway you? It's clear you don't intend to refuse. You'll learn all in due course. Besides, I didn't ask. Getting a word out of the voodoos is like pulling alligator teeth. Painful for everyone involved. Okay, so who do I contact next? Church, Sloan Lane. Inside by the altar. They'll know to look for you. Got it. Thanks, Hans.
animal pas attaqué jour funéral là on high alert now i lost contact with a vehicle somewhere in your area thanks eyes peeled You are V. We have been waiting. Can we meet somewhere else? Not big on funerals. Do not be frightened, Etrange. This funeral is not for you. You my contact? Someone finally going to tell me about this job? I'm just a man in the middle. You will learn more. Soon. You screening me? See if I came alone? What kind of chrome I got? There's some kind of test? Most people we work with we knew as babies. We know their angels. You, we do not know. Who died? Got something to do with the job? You think we put together this funeral special for you? Hmm. Wanna talk with Brigitte? She here somewhere? No. Shopping center by the intersection. Go to the butcher shop there. Ask for Placid. He will tell you the details. She's done. You actually sell meat out of here? Seriously? Ou actuellement le acheter kek? Qui ça la fait là? La PC est bien intelligent, il semble. Looking for Placide. Placide. Gardez ici là. Do do ti pi ti mama. C'est au même. Continuez. Do ti pi ti mama. Si ou pas do do, crabe la mama. You proceed. Want to talk to your boss? He's so lit. Here I thought selling domesticated fowl was still illegal. Six years poultry supposedly had the plague. Now all of a sudden, poof, it's clean. This not for sale. What you want? I want to talk to Brigitte. But they send you to me. And you'll tell me more about the job. Yes, but not here. Follow me. This way. Welcome to Pacifica. You know Pacifica well. No. You guys aren't exactly great at rolling out the welcome mat for outsiders. It was to be its own city where suits were burned their eddies. A close circle. The cops feed the sheep, they spit the cash back out. All the toys here are grown from corporal cash. A 
uh, interest is now in the GIM, the Grand Imperial Mall. Pacifica's biggest, ugliest temple to build, but never finished. Until last week, it was deserted, empty. And now? The animals crawled there, made a nest. You deal with animal before? Yeah, a few times. You want the animals out of the gym? Extinct? That why you hired me? You learn everything soon. I mean, it makes no sense, them being here. Middle of Pacifica, no backup, cut off. It's your turf. Hell, even badges don't patrol around here. Uh-huh. They're trying to provoke you? Make you do something stupid? They do not leave G.I.M. How many are we talking about in there? Daddy, maybe more. Vinina, we talk here. You sit. When do I see Brigitte? You do job. That is first. What the hell? You could fucking tell me what you plan to do first. You take job. You do what I say. So you chuck in now. Or what? You got a line of volunteers waiting? V? Home stretch, almost there. Do not fuck this up. Damn it. Here goes nothing. But at least he's not likely to talk your ears bloody. I got a feeling we're not gonna become best friends. No chemistry. I will survive. Evelyn Parker. Ring a bell? Not one of us. She did work for you once. Why not send your own goons to the gym? It's not our way. How's that been working out for you? Work good. Good more than bad. Your comb shaman, it is Victor. You two know each other? No, no need. This hardware is shit. You should replace. Oh, so now you're a ripper doc too? That at all relevant? Or just a cheap scare tactic? I need you to be able. I need no. This cheap. It have no signature. What is it? Besides that, everything's okay? No net problem. Cortex spikes, other trash. Any of that a deal breaker? I ask you about the chip. Uh, unimportant. Busted anyway. Hmm. How? Got a bullet to the brain. Hasn't worked since, that's how. Hmm. Huh. I haven't asked about my experience, what I can do. We are not cop. Do not offer career. You do for us only one simple thing. Once inside, what do I do? The camionet. Twenty, thirty-five, zero seven. Three seconds before, poof. We try to learn where the camionet come from.
Van's definitely a custom job. I see you not know also. Hey, just turn a piece back together. You record all this on your own? Mm-hmm. Local cam signals, cop sats, we capture to all. But from inside the gym squad, right? Tech looks pretty advanced. Doesn't scream meathead to me. They watch it very close. It is important, whatever it Placid. is. Placid. Batman Kelly have this in Okoi. Femme Potla. Time for a break? I think you might be needed. They will manage fine. You focus. Animals aren't the play here, are they? They're hired muscle. Someone else needed them. Someone with a van full of net runner tech. And that's where I come in? To sniff out who? Mm -hmm. Start with the communet. Hide from all eyes. Only see the city as you. You have now synced with Rizzo Agwe, our subnet. Why? What for? You are, you are my vessel now. now. To, to Agwe, I see what, what you see. see. Hear what, what you hear. I will, I will guide, guide you, you to Jaim. Another voice in your head. Just what the Ripper Doc ordered. We know who the runner inside is. What he wants. This I hope you tell me. So, aim to keep an eye on me. Shows trust. All right. Anything else I should know? Find our people near Mall. They will show you how to get inside the beast. My pay. How much we talking, and how am I gonna collect? And say you not in this for cash. You in this for problem. Do GIM for us. Brigitte can solve it. Uh-huh. Except then I found out you need me to be a bullet trap on enemy turf. That means my fee's just gone up. Mm, we will see. No promise. Got it. So I do this and you put me in front of Brigitte, right? Yes. Suti at the end of the hall. Go down. My people will let you pass. We are done. None too fond of strangers here, are you? People like you. Stick out. Meaning, best watch it. Mm-hmm. Wise. Brigitte even know we're supposed to meet? Or did you cook this deal up all by yourself? You speak with Chef in when time is right. So, voodoo boys. Why? Don't seem to believe in voodoo. Don't know. Ask those who call us this. Mean to say you call yourselves something else? And you ain't gonna tell me, are ya? Right. All ears. What? I check stability. The link on your end, clear? Mm-hmm. Seems so. 